Patients commonly ask, can my gallstones be removed without removing my gallbladder? Understandably, patients want to avoid as much surgery as possible and want the least amount of work done, leaving them as intact as possible afterwards. Um, and a lot of times patients will translate uh, what they know about kidney stones to what they uh, know about gallbladder disease. So when the kidney stones uh, are causing problems in patients, they can be broken down and removed or encouraged to pass. Whereas in gallbladder disease, we're talking about removing the actual gallbladder itself. And the difference is that in kidney stones, the kidney is not the cause. And in, when it comes to gallstones, the gallbladder is. So the gist of it is that if we removed gallstones and left the gallbladder intact, we would be leaving the problem behind and the gallbladder would continue to make stones and continue to create the issues that the patient is already experiencing. Because of this, it's not really something that any surgeon does and instead uh, the gallbladder is removed itself. This is done through a laparoscopic surgery most of the time, rather than the incision straight over the gallbladder that's much larger. This is performed through uh, some small incisions throughout the abdomen, and the abdomen is inflated with a gas, and uh, the gallbladder is removed with uh, small instruments through tiny incisions. Patients tolerate this really well. Um, they do well without a gallbladder. Um, the function of the gallbladder can be taken over by the liver and so patients really recover nicely and usually get back to their lives and eating uh, how they like within a few weeks after surgery. If you'd like to hear more about this, please give us a call or check us out at bostongallbladder.com.